Good morning. Hello. We got everybody here. Just got dropped off from the shuttle guy. Um, and now we're about to head back on the trail. Every one of our packs are crazy heavy because we have like five days of food and extra stuff, you know, for fun. So as uh, Skipper would say, say it, Skipper. It's going gonna... It's gonna to be a good day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... Here we go. We got to cross the river on rocks. And yeah. Yay. It looks pretty easy. Let's hope it is. Butter. And so the climbing begins. Oh, I already saw several nice uh, stall sites. Could have used that the other night or last night again or not for last. Yeah. Oh Lord. Pretty steep up. <clears throat> not too bad as far as you know, you don't have too many rocks climbing, but yeah, slow going with this heavy pack. There's a view. So now I gotta get down this thing, probably backwards. So there's supposed to be like a yellow jacket's nest or something, like right there. Um, so I just kind of slid down because you could see the, you can see them kind of swarming over there still. So I didn't want to get stung. So that's what I did. Okay, I think I might be wrong about the yellow jacket. Maybe it's here because there's a handrail. Oh yeah, no season yellow jackets. Hmm. Okay. Gotta figure this one out. Yep. So that was the official uh where the yellow jackets nest was. Um, but I swear I think the other spot might have actually had some yellow jackets too. But anyway, I'm safely by it. So gotta continue down for a little bit. So I forgot to film it, but the trail kind of goes that way, but it's like just jumbled rocks and it's all overgrown and there was no blaze um, until you get around the corner and you can see there's a blaze over there, but that's for northbound, but southbound there's been like nothing. It's like 
That's the worst, man. Subos don't always get a lot of places. Yeah, see, there's like, I mean, you can tell it's a trail, but still. Search the blaze. Woot woot. Doesn't look that rugged from this side, but uh, it was, yeah. It was kind of rugged. All right, Muller, I suppose. Hi, Mr. Chickmunk. What you doing? All right, I gotta cross this. Right, there's like a random picnic table here. This isn't a campsite. But there is a picnic table. I mean, you could totally make this. Still can't say, oh, there's even a fire ring. Huh. Huh. This is nice. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some campsites here. I see a couple really nice spots right there. Oh, there's a few. I think we were somewhere over there. I think. I don't know. Beginning signs of fall. Look at that. You got some orange, some red. I'm kind of ready for it. I really am. It's a lot of climbing <clears throat> to get to the top. I mean, it's only a mile. It was only like a mile and a half, I think. Uh, and we'll have like two tenths of a mile left. And actually, it's not that bad because it's you're not having to like boulder climb or anything, which is good. But with this heavy pack, I think it's just um. It's just a lot of work. It's part of part of the AT, part of what it is. And then the awesome part is when you complete it, you feel very like accomplished. So the nice thing is when you're to the top, I get to stop and I get to set my tent up and lay in it. So there's a reward at the top. Oh man. Almost up to the top. I can smell a campfire. I'm excited. Oh yeah, and hungry. Gonna have my leftover pancakes and sausage links and cantaloupe. Oh yeah, and maybe an adult beverage. Oh yeah. Bye. Oh man. Oh yeah. Well, we are here at our shelter. Staying there tonight, have a little bit of fire going. There's a view up here. I think we're gonna go look at it. See what's going on. Maybe you wanna be anywhere Like there's windmills the winter, out like there. Brutal. Beautiful. All right, my dinner is going to be my leftover pan blueberry pancakes and sausages. I got like three, three pancakes and some cantaloupe. I'm super excited. Look at the orange clouds. It's so neat. It's really cool. I got this for a second. Real quick. Oh, look at this fire. It's so pretty. 